Next, we're going to go over to Filter, Lens Correction. At the bottom of this dialog box, make sure the Show Grid in Preview are selected. That'll be the very bottom. There's Preview option and there's a Show Grid. We want both of them selected. You can see now that the grid is overlaid over top of the columns. The Lens Correction dialog includes Auto Correction options. You adjust one setting in the Auto Corrections tab and then customize the settings. In the Correction area, we want to make sure the Auto Scale image is selected and the Transparency is selected from the Edge menu. Right here and in here. And in this case, it already was. But you could have some other options possibly selected. Next, we're going to go into the Custom tab. And in the Custom tab, we're going to remove the distortion slider to about 52%. To remove the barrel distortion in the image. Alternatively, you could select the Remove Barrel Distortion tool and drag in the preview area until the columns are straight. Something like this. But I found 52 is what the book says, and it's pretty close to where we need to be. I'm going to go ahead and click OK from the menu box. The curving distortion caused by the wide angle lens and the low shooting angle is now reduced significantly. Now an optional section of the book is to compare the image before and after the last change by pressing alt Control z to go back and forth. alt Control z and I can see it did make a pretty significant change. Another way to do it would be go to the history panel and be able to go between the last setting and the finishing setting. We'll go ahead and save Control s or uh, Command s on a Mac. Thanks for watching Better Picks in just a few clicks. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos on how to take your photography to the next level.